what I'm gonna do, right? <laughs> I'm just the asshole who steals everything just to put it in his own, uh, yeah, in his own room <laughs> somewhere on the Tempest. It's just Hello, great. Hello, Ryder. It's kind of like Ghost Rider. Yeah. We came to explore and learn. That's who we are. I keep wondering what our scientists will cook up for Eos. Hmm. That's a very good question. All right, lights. There's really nothing to scan here, but oh, Kane Fox, Fox. I don't know this name. Is she one of the people who abandoned the E? Who? Him? Okay, yeah. Uh, one of the people who abandoned the first research. You haven't got a fuel station. cell, have you? The quartermaster uh, says there's plenty, but she would. Wait. Mm -hmm. oh, shit, you're the Pathfinder. Sorry, no one said VIPs were coming by. Hmm. I'm just Ryder. Nice to meet you. Likewise, I'm Fox, chief engineer for Podromos. Anything you need, ask away. Podromos. Okay, this is the name of the step. Ah, okay. So, it's not like titles, the name of the area here. Yeah, about Eos. Tell me what more. What do you think about your new home? First impressions? We've got water, clear skies for solar power, plants to farm. Mm -hmm. The remnants are a wild card, but Bradley says you have them covered. It'll take work, no question. But I think Eos is really going to be something. Nice. Hey, uh, and what do you do here? What do you do here? Probably manage it. My team it. gets things going. Mm. Water, power, communications, everything a civilization needs. Well, not laws or a constitution, but it's easier to concentrate on those when you got a flushing toilet. Yeah, a civilization. We're not here to make a civilization. We're here to research and develop. It's a research base, not a um, like. Yeah, yeah. Like, uh, of course, like every outpost needs to be managed or anything, but we are not here to make another our town, like another habitat or something. Anyway, going to Andromeda. What brought you all the way to Andromeda? There's a colony back home you've never heard of. Viridus. It failed. Hard. I grew up there watching things fall apart. When I left, I got into infrastructure, civil engineering. Boring stuff unless you've ever lived without it. I wanted to do Viridus right, I guess. And the initiative mm. was my best chance. Sweet. And uh, what about your colleagues? What are the other outpost staff like? Like Connor, you mean? She's pretty fun when you get to know her. Just don't get to know her over a poker game. Trust me. Nice. All right. Bye, Fox. Have a good one. Uh, no one here. So terminal, what do we got? Scratch pad, login, chief engineer, Kane Fox. This file is filled with sketches, annotations, and exploded schematic views. Many are focused on a combined road monorail network for EOS, showing several different but brilliant designs. Always good to go back to the old standby when I need to think. Underneath are several doodles showing elegant redesigns of the Nexus tram system map and pasted to one side are a number of downloaded statistics on predicted population growth over the next century. Got a baseline, Bradley is always good for the numbers. Uh, adjoining the statistics is a blocked eyed simplistic drawing of prodromos dotted lines showing expansions with detailed sketches of water and sewage lines on the ground, wireless power route routers and the flow of foot traffic. Sloppy, but it's a start. Okay, very interesting. So they're just they're just there to, to make a make a town, make it habitable, uh, start a completely new civilization. That's sweet. Anyway, so uh, how is it there? I heard Bradley has things up and running smoothly. I know, uh, I knew you guys could do it. Tell me all about yours. It's boring here, so I have to live vicariously through you. Uh, oh, you remember that girl I told you about, the Asari? We are going out this weekend. I can't believe she said yes. Wish me luck. Now it's your turn, buddy. Alice. 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 Probably Alice, um... Alice Connor, I think. Yeah, there's really nothing to scan in this place. Absolutely nothing. And there was a second entrance down there. 
which I completely ignore. So, do we have anything in? Mm, just the package. Like sometimes. Okay. Um, sometimes you have to be really close to objects in order to scan them, and sometimes you can see them from afar, which is a bit iffy. New. Nah, this one has no messages on it. What about this terminal, though? Yeah. Uh, formal request for dark uh, Turvian number twenty-eight. Marking the request again. Bradley, I know it's not your fault. I know she is supposed to be second wave, but I want a trail so that when this calms down in a few years, we can get proper outraged about how long it took to reunite families, especially one uh, once heard during the site uh, one to mess. Anyway, you know broken promises. Damn it. You know broken promise is a thing, right? Uh, requesting the deployment of Dark Ethereum, W84 Crispin Exo Study Specialist. Reason, she's an asset that will help viability. She's also my daughter. Ha <laughs> ha, personal reasons. Nice. But why would they even name it there? That's actually really nice that they went the extra step and made it easy. So, uh, Carnifex number one again. No, this is already Carnifex number two. Vendor items. I, I, I could either buy it uh, for a lot of credits. Yeah, for a lot of credits. But do I do I need this? Hmm. Yeah, this one has damage resistance. What else does it? Oh, come on. Okay, at least you can use the scroll wheel for it. But that's the thing. You, if you would design this window a little bit better. There would not be a need for scrolling. You, know? you can just make it a little bit large. Like, what you need to do is know the uh, the area that your text will probably be in, right? Make it readable first, and then uh, yeah, you you format it in a way that is that you always uh, are able to see this. Because right now you don't know if there's additional information except for this little triangle there. Really interesting. And also, what's more important, that or that? <laughs> like it, it could depend, you know? Like in this case, there we go. And this one has a huge empty room on the canvas there. Very nice. So, yeah, all items, there's no need for me to sell anything, at least not now. So, speak with Tan at the Nexus Pathfinder HQ. I give EOS radiation time to clear. Oh, okay, so now it needs time. Uh, and in this case, it's probably not in-game time. Time. Uh, it's probably a go back to the Nexus and come back again time. Um, the ISRU in situ resource utilization processes extracts hydrogen and oxygen from the soil for use as vehicle fuel or an emergency water supply. Very nice. Rider. So, it, hydrogen and oxygen from the ground... Like, wait a second. Yeah, hydrogen and oxygen from the soil. That's interesting that they get it from the soil and not from anywhere else. Um, but, yeah. It's probably a separate thing. But the only thing that you need for hydrogen and oxygen is just a diff, like a third source uh, of energy, so you can, yeah, uh, uh, split it with, uh, was it, I think, hydrolysis, was it, yeah, hydrolysis is like putting energy or like electricity into the water and then splitting it, um, yeah, you could just split water uh, and then uh, combine it in a reaction again and use this as a fuel cell. And then you can just recycle the same resources over and over again. You can have a split state and you have a combined state. And uh, the only thing you need is like put energy in from a third source that actually has all of the electricity available. And then uh, you don't need all of the water. Like you don't need additional resources for it just a little bit of the waste. So, 
Like you need to recycle things. Jacob Mitney. Pathfinder. Jacob Mitney, research and development. My mm -hmm. team's just getting set up here, but we've made a discovery you might want to check out. All ears. We've put together a blueprint for augmenting your armor plating. Uploading hmm. it now. If you can collect the necessary resources from around EOS, it should work. Nice. Should work. <laughs> Is this a sure thing, Mitney, or just pie in the sky? I have no interest in wasting your time. This could form the basis for armor production across the initiative. Nice. Scrunch safely, Pathfinder. Very nice. Craft the Pathfinder uh, chest piece. Sweetie. So there's specific Pathfinder armor. Very nice. Very nice. So, and there are, of course, a few people down there. Should we do it? Oh! There's a memory trigger, but uh, let's just keep that one in mind. Wait a minute. A military uh, requisition. No, yeah, requisition for Prodromos officially sanctioned by the Nexus. And there's more. So, and again, same thing. How much? Yeah, see that? It... There we go. Now it's gone for some reason. And there's no way for me to aim at it because there's an invisible wall. And I do not get any additional points. I think uh, the moment I scan it first, I get points. Otherwise, I don't get anything. And this one can be scanned like what? Was nice. I don't get it. I just don't don't get it. Okay, supply officer is. Hello, Kim Connor. Supplies, trade, procurement. Ah, that Anything Connor. you need, I can provide. Though you do have the Queen Quartermaster beside you. Mm hmm Do you know Vetra? Back on the Nexus, Connor worked with me to get everything for the Tempest. But I need ground under my feet. And soon, hopefully, trade will flourish on Eos. Ah. Well, it's not really grind, grind, but actually just environment. <laughs> I think, because it doesn't... Yeah. Gravity is gravity, no matter where it is. So, trade partners. Is EOS trading with any new partners? Right now, just the Nexus, but I have contracts with Wildcat Salvages and independent miners. There will be more. Okay, so, and supply situation? Does the outpost Do we need anything? The Nexus furnished us with the basics, but that isn't enough for a home. Providing the rest is my responsibility. The labs can't work without good logistics. They'll have it. Mm -hmm. Um, and yeah. Tell me more about your connection to Vetra. You said you know Vetra. What's she really like? <laughs> Not a word, Connor. As you like. Of course, you can't always be listening. Yeah, come on. Uh, <laughs> uh, so how did you end up here, Connor? Me? You're the Grand Explorer. I fill out requisition forms. Really? Everyone here has some kind of story. I left mine back home. Or... The... Still... Ask me another time. Another... See you later. Be well. Come back again. Yeah, sure. Now, do I have to come back all the time just to... Yeah, okay, let's see. Yeah, I do get research points if I scan the same bloody object. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Like, that is annoying, right? Sometimes you ha you can scan this stuff and you don't get anything. Sometimes you scan this stuff, but you do get points. So it's not that consistent. And sometimes you get points for it and some like for each individual object and sometimes you just have to uh yeah register the object whatever it's a bit just yeah that, that's uh, the one that i got the points from before yeah that was before connor bong it damn it oh the ears personal nice the terminal can sometimes be scanned that is the salvage thing imagery uh where were... There we go. Uh, that's another one of those hydrogen uh, thingies. Like this one. That was one of those in the previous base. 
Okay, so hydrogen stuff is not here. Alright, but now I have to get into the base. Do 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 nothing. Perfect. Uh I definitely read uh, need better beds here. And this is what? Crew quarters? Medical bay? Good bay. And we got the M37 Falcon number two. Oh, nice. But this is a... Yeah, what is this thing? Uh, it's definitely heavy, maybe too heavy even. Is he in the way? Nope, he's not. Can't interact with this data pad. Whee! Alright, no, I went in... There. I went in there. I also went in that separate okay, building. Okay, let's scan this one again, get more Milky Way points. Now I can't get any more Milky Way. What the hell is going on? Like sometimes you can. Yeah, sometimes you can scan it and sometimes you cannot. Okay. It's, 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 it's strange. Um, maybe there's a certain progress there. Like, um, you have to f get 100% on this object. And in order to do that, you have to scan a certain amount of those objects. And then you don't get any additional points. Like, uh, this one, for example, can be scanned. What's this one? A turret? Nice. Defensive structure, obviously, fires forward. Uh, well, not an AA gun. It provides strong perimeter defense. Okay, that's what I was talking about. Like, your research base needs defense. And no relevant data for some reason. Can't scan it. Nice one. But what would be better uh, is if you don't have that thing somewhere on the sidelines, but more like a huge tower in the center with freely rotatable... Uh, yeah, guns, right? Or maybe multiple towers, just to make sure that... Uh, and also these towers have to be... Hmm, a little bit further away from each other, so that one, if one falls, it will not uh, interrupt the other one. Yeah, that would actually make a lot of sense. Maybe they even need uh, different heights. So, uh, yeah, the outer turret should be uh, slightly smaller than the inner turret. Let's say, because the inner turret has to fire like over uh, the outer turret from time to time. So it doesn't fire like. Yeah, okay. Very interesting. So I have a huge inner turret and you have some outer turrets, but they should be rotatable so that they can basically have. Uh, yeah, so that they can secure the whole perimeter. Very nice. That's something that you need. Do, 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 All right, doors, eh? Hey. Anu do, hana do. Dr. Ramirez. Why is it always Dr. Ramirez? Right, yes. Dr. Ramirez. Run the clinic here on EOS. Much better this... than life as an alliance medic. Good mm -hmm. to be here. I'll guess you're not here for a checkup. How can I help you? Yeah, there's a shadow glitch over there. So, uh, yeah, coming to Andromeda yeah, is it the same. Why did you join That's the Andromeda same. Initiative? I served in the Alliance as a medic, but let's say I saw one Batarian slave raid too many. I knew August, Bradley, and when he signed on to the Initiative, he suggested I consider it. This seems like a better frontier. Hmm, nice. And your clinic. It's What's the latest from your clinic? Usual just... checkups for first thing colonies. There's a mm -hmm. few cases of dehydration and sun blindness. Nothing serious. Sun blindness, that's interesting. Like, did they look too much in the sun because they're not used to having it rain? Or is it more like... Yeah, probably like that. They're not 
used to the sun, but sun blindness? What do you think of Bradley? I've known him for years. He was the squad medic when he was injured, and we kept in touch after his discharge. Hmm. He's a smart fellow, a good lieutenant, but a better mayor. And it bugs him when I call him August. So hmm. I restrict myself to uh, two or three times a day. <laughs> nice. What's nice life like in our first successful outpost? It's early days, but promising. Everyone pitches in, everyone matters. We know we'll make this work. Nice. Okay. Back. I'll leave you to it. Come back anytime. Probably yeah. unhurt. Ah, <laughs> uh, want to. So, more in the terminals. Uh, R.E. Victor Carson. I find it troubling that you think I could be swayed from my duty by an offer of credit. I understand Victor Carson is a friend of yours, but that's hardly an adequate reason to release him from cryostasis and send him to Prodromos. Beyond that, from what I hear, you two are a disaster <laughs> waiting to happen. I know all about the prank you and Mr. Carson pulled on Everett before they join before the journey to Helios. Victor Carson will be released from stasis when I see fit and designed to an outpost that best suits his skill set. And if I hear you've gone over my head and spoken to Addison about this, you'll have me to answer to. Administrator Brecker. Case note uh, number 24, Dr. Ramirez. An examination on, uh, on examin dang, on examination. Um, no organic underlying cause. Apparently suffered a mechanical failure when coming out of stasis that locked her in the pod. Clearly a psychosomatic case, but symptoms are acute. Prescribed tetravoxine and VR post-stasis therapy. Next appointment in two weeks. That's actually very interesting. Virtual reality post-stasis therapy to get kind of like get the hang of it without actually moving the body too much. <laughs> That's kind of nice. Um, I'm seeing several cases of post-stasis anxiety and other related conditions. It's kind of like post-traumatic stress. Maybe VR is also good uh, in this, so you get used to normal environments again. Um, I'm seeing several cases of post-stasis anxiety and other related conditions. The techie solved a lot of the physical effects of long-term stasis, but we are clearly seeing the psychological effects run a lot deeper. People just aren't designed to be turned off for too long. To talk with Hainley about a long-term research initiative, we're first for a lot of things. Like, yeah, uh, what you need for this is some kind of matrix, so people just are on without being on at the time, right? You don't want people to be active, but you want people to be kind of active, so what they need is a permanent uh, a, a permanent dream, right? That would actually make a lot of sense, like installing a little matrix in there. But on the other hand, uh, these people could kind of go crazy if they live forever. But you could also design this uh, matrix kind of uh, thing. So first of all, all these people dream in the same area, right? So they're... Uh, um, so the, 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 So either... Um, like you could just deep uh, freeze the whole body uh, and just yeah switch it on at a later date but then actually nothing would happen um, it's just like off and then on right um, but if it's like a uh, let's say a small change um, that happens in the body like it's not just on and on it stays this way and doesn't change uh, forever so it's not deep frosted, but it's just like cooled for a very long time. Uh, so things can happen in the body and they need to uh, be in the like uh, gel kind of environment. So they always have uh, enough nutrients or whatever to keep the whole body uh, in check. Yeah, the only solution uh, if you can't turn off the body um, completely is to have them in some kind of incubation chamber uh, and put them in a permanent dream matrix style and then um, you change the matrix right and maybe give some uh, external view of the world right so the people don't get older on the long uh, on the long distance travel but they do actually um, what could that be like they don't get older um, but they they still got input 
um, but they are not disconnected from the world outside them, so they don't go completely crazy. Right? Uh, and every now and then, uh, they do have, like, they are reminded of the actual um, situation they are in. Like, they are not split from reality with the Matrix, uh, like the real Matrix Matrix. Um, but they're actually still bound, right? That would make, I think, a lot of sense. And maybe you can even um, make the dream slow, you know? So that uh, 600 years go by like in an instant, right? But it feels like maybe just a week or so, right? So that, that the, yeah, that the brain is just, everything is slowed down. Um, and also the signal input is slower. Therefore, uh, the the whole uh, matrix doesn't need to be like uh, uh, computed uh, in or calculated in real time, but uh, much much slower. It would be really energy efficient, um, and it also would help the the the, uh, the people being in those pots. They feel like it's just a dream and everything. They got all the input. Everything is fine. That would be really sweet. Ah, uh, except ah. Uh, yeah, when they have to uh, kind of speed up the brain at the end. <laughs> anyway, so next one. Case note number 76. Patient lost his grip and fell during maintenance work on the roof. Jump jets failed to fire. Compound fracture to the right leg. Several sprains to left ankle. Patient showed an aller allergic reaction to anesthetic. So I borrowed August and a couple of engineers to hold 076. Don't want I said the legs. It's just a number. It's nice, but there are just a few uh, colonists in here, so you don't need to be that secretive about it. Uh, application of foam cast and appropriate analgesia follow. Personal notes: noisy day, but hopefully an object lesson to the rest of the outpost about jump jet maintenance. Patient is healing nicely. Should be falling off roofs again in a week. <laughs> nice. So he has a really good uh, kind of humor. There is no other... Yep, there's no other spaceship to pick up though. Uh, oh, I just missed it. You know. So, that thing cannot be scanned. That was another building. This guy. Nothing new there. Yeah, like look, look, like sometimes you can scan those canisters, sometimes you cannot. It bothers me. Hmm. But having uh, biotic ability is actually pretty sweet. So you don't. Yeah. You don't get into a situation where your jump jet just doesn't work anymore because you can always rely on your okay maybe these are implants maybe those biotic uh, abilities just stop working at some point but maybe they are more reliable than uh, just a jet hey Hanley Abram oh yes there we go what's this equipment is monitoring a small test growth of beneficial EOS bacteria and this one is a lab equipment this equipment analyzes the radioactivity of EOS sand from the mountain ranges Early results look promising. Uh, promising in terms of what? Uh, um, in terms of not being deadly. So, uh, dictation log, scientific director Hamie Abrams. How? What technology can do this so quickly? Neutralizing the radiation in the atmosphere without dramatic storm effects. Shit. The opposite. The weather's gone calm as a summer's day. That's unpredictable. Uh, unprecedented unprecedented control over atmospheric pressure gas mixture temperature what else and where's the interaction miss the dogs walking them in the shuttle port park always helped me think through these problems forget side effects too i should get a dog are there dogs <laughs> pause break uh, we got damn lucky with the conditions here this is comparable to sea level earth eos is dr drier but within limits Moisture is binding into the desert, plants, and soil. More now since the vault uh, points to a vault mm. points to a spe species with the same air mix, temperature, gravitational comfort levels as us. Uh, or is there another reason? Can't predict uh, intent for results. 
Maybe writers the one to figure out why. They how that's my department now. Lucky old Hanley. You wanted bigger things, you've sure got them now. Research proposal submissions review. Materials analysis of recovered cat firearms are important if you don't flush your work away, blah blah blah. Uh, color reactions and acuity in insectoid wildlife uh what no not approved unless you're going to make them stop at a red light <laughs> comparison of quantum initialized string effects to relativistic waveforms this is gibberish i'm not giving grants for the best words a lot uh element zero voltage resistance testing finally some real science approved sweet so this guy uh is yeah giving uh giving a go like okay hanley is not a guy. So, yeah, this one is uh, getting a go on specific <laughs> research uh, runs, maybe. Ah, Different kinds of research. I hear you're to thank for a physics defying atmosphere processor. Yeah. That's me. I'm Ryder. No Andy shit. Abrams, director of scientific research on EOS, and Ryder of papers that start what the hell weather. But new galaxy, new world, and a really new start. Got to keep up. How can I help you? Mm. Nice. So yeah, yeah, research. What kind of thing do you what do here? What research are you working on? Your basic first in scientific work: soil, water, atmospherics. Plus studying remnant tech because now I need to understand that to survive here. Mhm. Mm well, you don't need to understand it to survive here. You just need to, I don't know, use it. <laughs> but um, how does the remnant tech actually connect to the pathfinder? That's the thing. Uh, like, does it only work with a SAM connection, or can actually everyone uh, use the remnant tag, right? Because until now, there's only the Pathfinder uh, that was kind of able to use the remnant tag. So, conditions on EOS. Activating that vault changed the planet. Anything to worry about? Considering it's world-altering technology we've never encountered before, I hope not. But the storms show no signs of returning, and I know who to contact for remnant tech support. I'll take it. Hmm. So, you Bradley. What do you make of Lieutenant Bradley? Determined as hell. And he has incredible faith in us to get this done. Bradley would carry this outpost on his back if he had to, and we'll make sure he never has to. Hmm. Nice. All right. Keep up the good work. So much so for the outposts. And Junsio Park. Not uh, Puck? Pathfinder, mind giving me your opinion on this. I'm planning classes for our first school, when we have one. Some say mm -hmm. we shouldn't teach Milky Way history. All irrelevant now, apparently. <laughs> uh, yeah, it is irrelevant. Nah, it still matters. Like, it, it depends. Um, like, um, you don't need to teach everything. You just need to teach the things that are important, right? That brought us here. Uh, and the things to watch out for. And that's the thing that history should be all about. Not just fact learning and just regurg damn it. regurgitating. Regurgitating? Anyway. <laughs> that's just uh, regurg regurgitation. Regurgitation, I think. Yeah. Uh, of uh, pure facts. That's useless. But actually, like, understanding what brought us here uh, and what would not have brought us here, right? So, actually, it still matters, but not everything. We were all shaped by that history. Our children deserve to know how and why. Agreed. Mm, maybe you'll change a few minds. Thanks for stopping. Hmm. But to be honest, like, it's a nice thought to have at the moment, but there are no children here. Uh, and the first children don't need to know that much uh, about their story 